new hair who this this is my new hair color it's like a lighter brown <laughs> uh, this is probably the most normal my hair has looked in like over a year and a half but maybe the most normal transformations are the most radical ones at least in my book i'm very happy with the way it turned out still want it to be a little bit cooler but that's for next time i'll touch it up in a few weeks but I figured today I would vlog. Me and my mom will have a fun day ahead. I'm gonna be going to the Malia Designs Fall Trunk Show and it's at a place called, oh my God, I've never been to this place, so let me just look it up. So the Trunk Show is going to be held at Earthwell Refill. I've never been there. It's local to me, I live in San Diego. So this is a shop where you can buy, you know, more sustainable products, things in bulk. Uh, I've never been there, so I can't tell you all that much. Just by going through their Instagram, that's what I'm gathering. So they have, I'm very excited about this actually. They have Dr. Bronner's soap, which is what I use to clean my brushes in bulk, in different scents. So I am quite excited about that. So I'm gonna be going there with my mom. She's also, well, both of us have been trying our best to reduce the amount of plastic and I know it's quite hard with within the beauty world especially if you are like me and I like trying different things but I have limited my spending a lot especially if I compare it to you know 2015-16 when I would do all these reviews like I've definitely cut back a lot but there's room for more improvement especially for like the daily necessities like body wash like body lotion stuff like that if i can cut the plastic from those things like that's better than not doing anything at all so very excited to be checking out that place i'm gonna be doing my makeup the vibe is pretty relaxed i mean he's really relaxed right now i haven't had the chance to sit down and say thank you for all of the responses that i received about my quitting YouTube video um, it was interesting for me to just sit down and like reminisce about all the years that I've been on YouTube and even consider the idea of quitting like to me that's insane <laughs> but I was really happy reading through the responses seeing what you guys have noticed in terms of changes especially with content creators influencers i hate that word influencers i i freaking hate it but um yeah it was really really insightful reading through all the responses and i really appreciate it appreciated people taking the time to even leave responses especially the long ones i was just like mind blown for the eyes i'm going to be using this guy from wet and wild i'm gonna go for i kind of want to go with the lavender the lavender and this purple let's go for that Wow, <laughs> oh, this palette, why is it limited edition, like why, especially this, this one, I understand the other ones that are more like Halloween-y, but come on, wet and wild. For those of you who are not from San Diego, are not familiar with Malia Designs, Malia Designs is run by Lucia, she makes really great sustainable ethical bags mainly but other accessories as well uh, she travels a lot to Cambodia where the bags are made and makes sure that the materials are sourced ethically that the working conditions are good she meets with a lot of the women who make the bags she's really involved with the brand and I really respect that and she's just a very very nice person I did model for their was it their fall and winter um 2000 oh my god i suck <laughs> at trends i modeled for them last summer for their fall and winter collection um and that was such a cool experience it still trips me out to see my pictures when she goes to like trunk shows and other like events like oh that's me that's me with blue hair and i do have some stuff i think i have one actually laying on my bed have a little wallet that was screen printed look at this so cute 
And then I also have like a black version of this same one that I used to carry my blogging business cards. I was first introduced to that brand when I was working at a local hybrid consignment store called Simply Local. They have a location in North Park if you're from here. I used to work there. So this is the finished makeup look. Very lavender, but I like it. It works with the hair too. The hair looks so pretty in the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to be responsible. These are some of the empty containers that I'm gonna take to Earthwell Refill. It's so bright. We just got here. This is the Kensington area, which I'm not very familiar with, but I'm always down to explore different areas in San Diego. So it's Adams, was it Boulevard? Adams Avenue. <laughs> what a noob, I'm a noob. But uh, we're gonna go explore. I think we're gonna go eat first because I am starving. Look at this cute dog store. Well, it's also a cat store. But there's the big lamb chop that Bowie has. But we got it at Marshall's. What is this? Movie theater. We're at a little place called The Haven here in Kensington. Look at this wall, it's so cool. We ordered a pizza and a salad and uh, hopefully it's good. My mom got some more empty containers to use at Earthwell. So we have an old Rio Gio mask and then there was another one. This, which I think used to house a face mask? I don't even know, but we came prepared. We might end up buying a few empty containers if we see stuff that we want to buy. But look at us, we're using our stuff. <laughs> Hasta <cara> otra vez. <laughs> my mom says it's so big and it is. Oh my god. This is the candy bacon. Um, I want to just try it and see how it tastes. Oh god, it's so good. It's so freaking good. Mom is very hungry. She already grabbed the slice without even letting me vlog it. It's okay. So we got the margarita pizza. And we're still working on the salad. I give the Haven two thumbs up, especially for the candied bacon. My mom liked it too. Here we are, Earthwell. Let's check this place out. My mom's already exploring, smelling stuff. So before I start refilling these containers, they're gonna take the tear weight. Oh look, there's lotion with SPF 30. I think I'm gonna get this. There's also facial lotion, body lotion. There's more lotions. Body wash. This one was smell really good. There's more sunscreen, facial toner. Oh my god, there's everything. Moisturizer. Cleanser. Makeup remover. Ooh. Face oil. Uh, they're moisturizing. What else they're is Mexico. there? Anti-aging so shampoo and conditioner. Apple cider vinegar. Clarifying shampoo. Look at the vinegar. That's a huge. Oh, okay, gotcha. A little bit of long There's even more stuff here. Charcoal powder, bentonite clay, so you can make face masks. There's arrowroot powder, hand soap. What is here? Ah. You can tell I'm such a noob. <laughs> so we have fish gel, laundry powder, soap nuts. I've never seen these in my life. Look, they have these bamboo straws. I'm gonna get myself one of these. All right, so we just left. I spent 37 for everything, so I'm not too shabby considering that two of the tubs were super big. Now we're on the outskirts of North Park. This is more of my area, but still I don't <laughs> come here very often. The shop is super cute. Let's cross the street. We're gonna go get some ice cream at Anne's Dry Cleaning. I don't know which one to get. 
All of them sound so good. I've tried the fluff before, but the other ones I haven't. So my mom ended up getting the fluff, the honey blueberry, which was inspired by Winnie the Pooh. And I got the velour, caramel and salt. Buena? Buena. Caramel one's good too. Una foto con el boy. 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 Little baby. Let me show you what I picked up at Earthwell Refill. I'm gonna write down all the things that I got with Sharpie just so I can make sure I know what it is. <laughs> Thankfully in the receipt everything's listed as well as what I paid for each thing. You know what? Prices are actually really good. So first thing, this is my mom's shampoo. So she picked up the... I wish I would have paid attention to the brand. It says GR. It's probably gonna be in the vlog because I did <laughs> do a product pan. So I'm gonna write GR. So this tub managed to fit 10.6 ounces of the shampoo. It was 79 cents per ounce. So she paid $8.37, which isn't, it, it isn't bad. It smells fresh. I like it. I just hope it works out for her. So. This is my mom's tub of shampoo that I picked up because obviously my hair needs a lot of TLC. <laughs> I spoke about how I needed to bleach out the purple. So my ends, as you can see, are very, very dry. Um, here it feels pretty healthy, but I definitely need a lot of hydration. So in this tub, which used to house Shea Moisture body scrub, here, now I have, sh uh, not shampoo, conditioner. And this is also by the same brand, so this is the GR Restorative Conditioner. This guy I picked up, actually, never mind. Got totally, I got things mixed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so for the shampoo, this was 79 cents an ounce. My mom got 7.4 ounces, so the shampoo was 5.85. That's not bad. That's not bad. Especially for something that's like specialized. That's not bad. The conditioner, this guy was also 79 cents per ounce. I got 10 ounces in here. So quite a hefty amount. And this was $8.37. That's really, really good actually for a deep conditioner. That's good. I did pick up a facial oil because I just love oils. So this is by Bristol and Sussex. Did I say it correctly? Sussex? Bristol and Sussex facial oil. So this is $2 per ounce. This didn't fit a whole ounce. Probably could have if they filled it up a little bit higher, but that's fine with me. So for this, it was $1.60 for facial oil. Not bad, not bad. So $2 per ounce. That's pretty affordable. And I get to reuse my bottles. Like I think I mentioned before, this used to be a, a bottle of the Ordinary Peeling Solution. So now it's facial oil. Oh, this guy. This is something that I picked up. So this is also by Bristol and Sussex. This is the facial moisturizer. And I do have facial moisturizers. I mean, <laughs> you know me. But um, I just figured I could try a smaller. Oh my God, I can't even fit moisturizer. Like a smaller tub. And this felt really nice, silky, like it's gonna absorb really well into my skin. And most of the moisturizers I currently have have sunscreen, this one doesn't. So I can use a separate sunscreen or just wear it in the evening if I'm gonna go out to Target or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I got this little tub. So this, the facial moisturizer was $3.99 per ounce. This fit 1.6 ounces. So it was $6.38 for facial moisturizer, which I personally think it's not that bad. Once again, the grapeseed oil. 
So grapeseed oil was 49 cents per ounce. We managed to fit 1.6 ounces by just getting half of it filled. So it was 78 cents for grapeseed oil. These are the bamboo straws. So I got from Wish last year, earlier this year, a little reusable straw set, but the straw collapses and it's so difficult to clean out. I just do not like it and it kept like, you can't really sip on it very comfortably because it's like collapsing. <laughs> It was it sounded great in theory, but it just wasn't that practical. So I think this is gonna be way more practical. So bamboo straws. It comes with its little cleaner and uh, it comes with its little sleeves. I've never used a bamboo straw before, but supposedly they're very very sturdy. They wash well. So that's good to know. There's two sizes. So if I wanted to share it with someone, so that someone probably being my mom, because I <laughs> I probably would not let somebody else, like a stranger, borrow this. Oh, no, no thanks. But it comes in this little sleeve and I can just put it in my handbag. Where's my handbag? This is a Madewell handbag, by the way, that I picked up at Poshmark. It was such a great price. I'm gonna put this guy in here. This is gonna live in my handbag now. I should probably wash it. I'll take it out and wash it and then <laughs> put it back in my bag, but. Now that's going to be living in my bag because I do happen to really love straws and the bamboo straw situation with the sleeve was $10.99 so that was the most expensive thing but I know I'm gonna I'm gonna use the crap out of them the crap out of them so how was my experience I'm gonna give it a little happy face because it was good and um, I'm gonna write really great first experience. We will be back for more. Perfect! So that was a really good experience. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more overwhelming because I feel like a lot of the the zero waste things are just there's so much information and it's so easy to get overwhelmed but this was a really fun, really fun store. They have other locations in San Diego. So for my fellow San Diegans here, and I know there's a few, they have two locations up in Oceanside, one in Encinitas, and then they have um, the one that I went to up in Kensington. And they're hopefully trying to open up another location down in Chula Vista for the South Bay. So that's really good. Yeah, I'm really happy actually. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so stoked. I will let you guys know how everything that we picked up works, but I'm sure I'm gonna be back for more stuff. Not super soon, but you know, as I empty out containers and actually there's a few containers in my empties bag. So I'm gonna have a few extra containers that I can go and take over there, refill with other things. So yeah, just wanted to share this because I didn't even know there were stores like this in San Diego. I thought like the nearest one, and this is because the people that I follow on YouTube live in that area. I thought this type of bulk buying was only, well, the closest location was up in Long Beach. But now that I know there's one not too far away from me, like this is really cool. I mean, if it wasn't for the straws, it would have been like 20 something for all of this. For the price of one moisturizer, I got all of this. <laughs> oh, I can't stay up. I got all of this for the price of one. Yeah, I mean, bare minerals. Most moisturizers were 35 bucks. So, for the price of one Bare Minerals moisturizer, I got all of this and some straws. Mm. Well, this is completely out of order with the vlog, but I just wanted to show the bags that I purchased from Malia Designs. So this one is a laptop bag made out of recycled materials. So this used to be like one of, the, one of those big, I don't know if it's rice. Well, it's recycled material. <laughs> 
and it has padding inside. The other day I went to Barnes & Noble to work on some YouTube stuff with a friend of mine, with my friend Laura, and I was just carrying my laptop in my hands, so I just needed something, a bag that had padding, so I could carry my laptop in a bag and not carry it in my hands. Then the other bag is this guy, which I'm so excited about. So excited that I already put everything <laughs> inside the bag. Like my wallet and mirror, my reusable straws are inside, sunscreen. So yeah, this guy was part of the fall and winter collection from last year. I had my eye on it <laughs> since I participated in the photo shoot last year. I didn't get to model this, but I still had my eye on it. I thought it was so cool. All right, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the shower and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Hopefully I'll bring you along, explore San Diego with me. I really wanna go hiking soon. But nobody wants to go hiking with me. Nobody wants to, but I want to. My mom, my mom could, but she's gonna get dental surgery tomorrow, so she's gonna be unable to go hiking with me. But uh, I'll make it happen. I'll find someone who wants to go hiking with me. I'll, I'll have to bribe a friend with some ice cream or some coffee, or I don't know. But I'll figure it out, because I really do want to go hiking. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I feel like I said I'm gonna go now so much, but I'm gonna go now. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more weirdness, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. <laughs>